Hello everyone, Steve, when geeks collide, it must be Wednesday because we're doing a DC Multiverse figure unboxing and review. This time, it is The Joker. Uh, again, another uh, version that I'm not super familiar with, but hey, it's a great looking figure. So, uh, let's crack it open and see, see what, he, uh, what goodies we have inside. Quick look at the packaging, as always, standard DC Multiverse McFarlane package, Joker on the side, the Joker, Batman White Knight, uh, so obviously this is the character and what it's from, I, I love that about these, uh, the artwork, pretty cool, uh, it says Napier on the, the uh, jacket. Uh, you know, down some of the figures. I still need to grab this Joker, the Arkham Batman, um, and what's this? The Superman Action Comics 1000. I'm not sure if I have him. I might. There's still so many of these in a box. But yeah, let's crack them open and uh, see what we get. So here we got the trading card. These have been extremely helpful to let me know what I'm looking at. The Joker, Batman White Knight, Source, Batman White Knight, number eight, from comics, 2017, real name, Jack Napier, I love it, height, six foot three, 173 pounds, hmm, that's bizarre, different height, once the clown prince of crime and Batman's greatest supervillain, the Joker has been cured of his madness, now going by the name of Jack Napier, he has been released from Arkham Asylum and has set his sights on politics with hopes to save Gotham City from the one person he sees as its true enemy, Batman. Okay. Uh, this sounds like a great storyline. I'm going to have to look into this a lot more. Let's check out the fig. He's been cured of his madness. have to do here I'm gonna have to get out the old exacto knife this is the exciting stuff guys this is why you tune in right Woo. knocking everything around making a mess Revolver and this head. Let's see if we can get it out. There we go. All right. So he's supposed to be cured, but he's got the Joker face here. Uh, very cool. The figure's cool. Man, you can get a couple of these just for uh, you know cop bodies like. Very cool. It says Napier right there. You know, he's out of an asylum and he's a cop. Uh, this vest, you know, hinders the articulation, but uh, hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, great. Great stuff, man. Let's pop the head off. Oh, that came off super easy. Let's uh, slide this one on. There we go. Jack Napier. Police officer. Very cool. Let's put the gun in his hand. You know, he's cured of his madness, but he's got this uh, same gun from, like, Batman. Uh, 89 Batman. Uh, the face sculpt's pretty cool. Um... Uh, Looks like his eyes are two different colors of blue. A light one and or brown and I, is that brown and blue? I don't even know. It's David Bowie. 
as the Joker. And this face is pretty cool. Uh, man. It's a great figure, yet again. Like, McFarlane's just killing it. Uh, when some of them first came out, like I, I said, I thought some of them were kind of chintzy. And I only bought a handful. Uh, I still even haven't opened those or reviewed those. Those are coming. But um, the last little few releases and waves, oh man, they've been, they've looked great. And uh, yeah, let's give them the old uh, 360 uh, treatment and uh, we'll finish this bad boy up. So yeah, here here it is. The Joker from the White Knight, a.k.a. Jack Napier, the cured Joker. Man, I know nothing about this storyline. I'm very intrigued. I want to check it out. Uh, again, face sculpt. Pretty cool. Oh, normally, yeah, when we do these, I put the card right there. But yeah, uh, very cool stuff. Uh, if I'm rating this, I'm giving it an 8. The reason I'm giving it an 8 is because I don't know anything about it. Uh, it'd probably be an 8.5 or a 9 if I, if I was familiar with the story arc. Um, but, hey, it's a great figure. He even kind of looks a little bit like Jack Nicholson. And that's badass. And that's what we need. We need a McFarlane, Jack Nicholson movie Joker figure. That is my dream. That's on tippy top of my list of what I want to see from McFarlane when it comes to these DC multiverse figures. Now, with that being said, if we even got a... I, this line's just started. I'm, I'm not even going to start being like, oh, I want to see this and I want to see that because... Who knows what we're going to get. Uh, you know, 2021, just start. And uh, we might get a lot of stuff that we aren't thinking about or didn't think we wanted or, you know, thought maybe that they would never make and they're going to make. So that excites me about this line. Now, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about this figure. It's great. The stand, awesome. But... I haven't had any issues with standing these figures on my shelf without the stands. So, hey, McFarlane, keep up the good work. Guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, even if you don't like, put a thumbs down. Let me know why you didn't like the video. Let me know what I can do to work on these to make them more exciting for you, the viewer, and... Uh, help me you know i'm you know this is my passion i i collect action figures i love them uh and there's going to be so much uh stuff coming out um guys again thank you uh we're on other platforms you can see right now twitter instagram we're on facebook facebook.com slash when geeks collide and you can check out our podcast which we have when Geeks Collide proper, where we talk about everything. We have Go Figure, which I talk about I, a, a classic toy line, or just uh, it's a it's a focused uh, toy line discussion. Uh, it's just me uh, from the page to the screen, where we have guests on. We talk about comic book movies, and then we have Multiverse Legends, where I talk about DC Multiverse figures, and I talk about Marvel Legends. Strictly just them. And also, go to Multiverse Legends on Instagram. It's my... Check it out, guys. Thank you. It's been Steve. When Geeks Clyde. As always, geeks out.